Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a 70 Chevelle. This baby's got a 402 with a Ramjet sitting on top. Let's take a look. Probably one of the most coolest cars on the planet right now. Definitely one of the hottest muscle cars in the industry. Now this baby's a gunmetal gray, and then it's got these charcoal stripes. Now both the gunmetal and the charcoal have got this beautiful metallic in it, and you can just see it sparkling a bunch of different colors when the light hits it. Just looking sweet. She does have a cow hood, and we've got the beautiful chrome on the front end. Now it says cow induction up there on the hood, but of course everybody sees that there's no flapper in there, so it's not really cow induction, but it is a cow hood. You can see that the lines on the hood are looking sweet, and the paint on it is just phenomenal, man. Wait till you see this baby outside when we park this dream in your driveway. It's got some amazing looking Riddler wheels, it's got Willwood brakes on it, and we've got 454 badges on here, but like I said, it is a big block, but it is a 402 with that Ramjet setting up on top. You can see the interior looking sweet on this beautiful car. That door panel's looking like it's brand new. It's got a custom steering wheel in there. There's a um, staple shifter in there and a stock appearing console. We got a great looking seat in here. This is an aftermarket seat. Back seat's looking sweet also. It matches the front seat. We got Kenwood speakers back there. Headliner looking good. Dome light looking good. Um, you can see in the stock location on the dash there, all aftermarket gauges, all white faced, looking beautiful. Just everything about the car is just absolutely gorgeous. Take this car anywhere, it is going to draw a crowd, guaranteed. And the paint on it is just straight as can be. I just love this color, just looking gorgeous. Of course the stripes continue back down the deck lid. Then we got beautiful chrome on this back bumper. Now whenever I'm looking at a car, if you can get your pinky finger under there, of course this one's a little too tight, feel the back side there and get it in there a little bit. Make sure that that deck lid is nice and smooth on the back side. Now we've got 47 keys, you may have to bear with me here. Hey, second try. Look at that. Now look at the coating they've got on those wheel walls and the trunk floor. Nice thick coating, nice and smooth, easy to keep clean. Then this beautiful carpeting on there. You can see the attention to detail on the car is just phenomenal, looking sweet. You can see how they brought the stripes right down into the opening. We got nice paint on the bottom side. Then if you have the chance to get the deck lit up, make sure you check a look at these lips here, where that metal is folded over there to the uh, substructure. As you look down the passenger side, just as straight as the driver's side, the fitment on the doors looking sweet. Of course, those big old beautiful Riddler wheels on the back looking beautiful. Car's got a killer stance to it. The black interior, the gun metal, the charcoal stripes, the ramjet under the hood. Now we're going to get under the hood. We're going to show you everything you need to see. First thing we do to every car here at Vanguard is they go up on the lift and they get inspected and we take our pictures, do our videos, so you guys can see exactly what this car is going to look like when it hits your driveway. So give Tom a call at 248-974-9513. All right, we're inside the Chevelle now. Now, normally we'd be driving it right now, but it is nasty outside. Now, rest assured we have driven this car. It's already been through the inspection process. So a mechanic has driven it, my shop manager's driven it, and I drove this car when it first came in. Phenomenal car here. You can see on the dash, everything looks like it's brand new. The gauges are on the stock locations. All the chrome's looking good. The faces of the gauges are like a light gray. 
kind of like the uh, colors on the outside. Very cool. Uh, it's got a tilt column. It's got this aftermarket steering wheel in it. It's got an aftermarket stereo. You can see the aftermarket um, vintage air controls here. It's still got the staple shifter. Uh, it has been switched over to the four-speed shifter, so you've got the you know four-speed automatic. Um, guys, we can ship this baby anywhere in the world. All you got to do is call Tom at 248-974-9513. We can also help you out with financing. Now stick with us. We're going to put it in the air for you right now. All right, we're underneath the Chevelle now, and man, is she pretty under here. Let's take a look. You see this gas tank? Looks like it's brand new. Uh, we definitely got new rubber here going to the filler neck. You can see that the bottom has been coated with what looks like a bed liner material. Now this is nice and smooth, not sticky at all. We got brand new exhaust. They've used the real nice hangers here. You can see uh, the trunk floor looking good, down where the quarter meets, the drop down. These are all things you need to look at whenever you're looking at one of these cars. Uh, 10 bolt rear end, 308 gear, great for the highway. It is an open rear end, great for the gas mileage. Um, looks like new shocks. We got new trailing arms here. These are all aftermarket and the upper control arms also. We got those extra braces they always put on the SS's. We got some big old Flowmaster mufflers. That's what's making it sound so good. You can see the paint work on the frame is looking beautiful, nice shiny black. And again, all these floorboards look original to me, but they've got that nice coating on them looking sweet. Looks like we got our uh, a fuel filter right here and our brand new steel braided uh, fuel line. Looks like new brake line running front to back too. Our O2 sensor going up there so that computer knows how much fuel to dump in this monster. We've got 700R4 Trans, that's a four speed automatic. We got aftermarket front suspension here, upper and lower control arms. Looks like new spindles, new disc brakes. It looks like we got a new sway bar that's fully adjustable there also. Uh, the front frame horns are nice and straight. Looks like we've got a serpentine belt set up here, cross flow electric uh, fan radiator. Uh, we got the front frame horns looking nice and straight. I always take a look at those, make sure they're not crinkled up. Uh, we got a nice brand new looking bumper here. You can see the paintwork right down to the bottom edge is looking sweet. They've even got the little brace in the fender here. A lot of times the guys leave those out. Um, up front here, we got some great looking Riddler wheels. Uh, and these are 235, 45, 18s up front. And look at that paintwork down here. Now it does say SS454, but remember it does have a 402 in there, but nobody can tell from looking. It's got that big ramjet sitting on top. Now out back here, we got 275, 4020s back here, just looking sweet. And again, that paintwork right down to the bottom edge looking great. And right there's where that ramjet's gonna be talking to you. Now let's get under the hood and take a look at it. All right, we're under the hood here. And man, you wanna talk about sweet. It's that, that ramjet style Edelbrock setup, all fuel injected, that's multi-port fuel injection. You can see the fuel rails right here. You can see all the chrome under here. Got those great looking Chevrolet valve covers on there. The master cylinder, the power boosters all chromed up. The hood hinges are billet aluminum, looking sweet. The inner wheelhouses have got beautiful paint on them. Uh, this right here is the uh, AC compressor. It's all polished up. Um, you can see those upper control arms, the brand new shims and crossbars and everything in there. You can see that the firewall's been shaved. We've got a nice uh, shiny coil there. Looks like an aftermarket distributor. Looks like the windshield wiper motor's all brand new. I mean, just everything about this thing, the support here for the top of the radiator's new. This is the um, reservoir for the power steering pump. It's got a late model power steering pump on it also. I mean, everything's painted up. Everything's looking sweet. Bottom side of the hood's even got a great looking paint job on it. Guys, this is one sweet automobile right here. It's a 70 uh, Chevelle. Like I said earlier, probably one of the most popular hot rods on the market right now. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this dream in your driveway.